In this video, I'll be showing you how to check if your cPanel account is compatible with our service, and if so, add a cPanel backup configuration in Backomatic CP, and then start a backup process for the account. To finish it off, we'll download the backup file. A special thanks goes to Matt and Hostmiss.com for providing us a cPanel account to do this demonstration. To start off, let's log in to cPanel. So I already have cPanel loaded. What you are looking for is an icon labeled backups. If it is there, your cPanel account is compatible to be backed up by our service. So after we figured that our cPanel will work, we can go ahead and go back and look at the welcoming email for login details for Backomatic CP. We click this link over here, control.backomatic.com, and we log in with the credentials. Once we're logged in, we can add a cPanel configuration by clicking this. What we've got here after the page loads is a form we'll need to fill out. So let's go ahead and fill this out. As you can see, there are tip boxes letting you know what you need to fill out per box. For configuration name, this can be whatever you want it to be. This will be the identifier for this configuration. Notify me. Check this box if you want to be notified every time a backup completes. You can change the email address if you like. For cPanel domain username password, fill this out with a cPanel account you want to back up. For backup copies, you can choose to keep between 1 to 31 backup sets or copies for each backup configuration. Once the maximum number of backup sets or copies is met, the oldest backup file will be overwritten by the newest one. For example, if you are backing up daily and you want to keep each backup file for at least a week, you will need to choose to keep 7 copies of the backups. Tick this box for scheduled backups unless you know what a cron job is and would like to use it. You can then schedule the time according to the server on which you want your backups to run, whether it is daily or a specific day of the week. And for email problems, unless you are hosted at HostGator, or if you are told to take it by support, you can just ignore it. After you're done, press Add Configuration, and if everything is fine, the configuration should be added and you should be able to see it in the index page. We can go ahead and click Run for the first time. Click OK. Backup initialized. So after a minute of clicking run, an email was sent by Backomatic CP letting us know that the backup's been completed. So let's go ahead and learn how to download the backup file. First you want to click this link. Then we'll click generate. And then click this unique download link. Press save and that's it. Our first cPanel backup, from adding an automated configuration to running a manual backup to generating a download link and then downloading the backup file. Thank you for watching this video.